What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Swag and Sorcery. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today. I want to take this guy out. Actually, do I have enough to make anything that I want? Hold on, I want to see if I can get some upgrades. So if you haven't seen this cool little idle game, that's exactly what it is. It's a fun little idle game. Uh, we've got a simple crossbow right here. I think more damage is a really, really good idea because I think your efficiency in like raids or in fights or whatever really comes down to your ability to put damage downfield. Compared to your opponents. Oh, never mind. He's not high enough level. I gotta farm up some more money real fast. Oh, I needed to make the militia sword. I'm an idiot. Never mind. I knew I was hoarding those materials for something, and instead of using them on something useful that advances us through the game, I decided to waste them on an item that does nothing for us right now. Sorry, chat. That's my bad. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Please don't eviscerate me down in the comments. No eviscerations today, please. Not a single one. Three copper ore is good, though. I'll take three copper ore. Three copper ore sounds like the hey, 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 hey. Who do you think you are? Dodging my spears over here. Who do you think you are? I need to unlock this down here. Maybe if I upgrade the stables, I can get another horse possibly. And then I can run two adventures at the same time and we can farm with twice as much efficiency. That would be pretty cool. Did he just pop a pimple on his head then throw it at me? I didn't notice that animation, but I'm pretty sure that's just what ha I'm. I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Is he popped a pimple on his head and then threw it at me? Disgusting little bastard. So it doesn't look like I can upgrade this right now. Maybe we're like hard locked into what we can accomplish at the moment. He's healing anyways, so send this guy out. Maybe he'll be all right. I mean, this time around he didn't get like beat up by a monster eight seconds into the raid, so that's always a really good sign. Continue onwards, my adventure. Oh, that guy has a lot of HP. Yeah, I hope you deal some damage, because if you don't, this dude is going to hurt you badly. Oh, you gave him a double attack, because that's just the kind of caring, generous person that you are. We'll sound the retreat right there. We'll put this guy back in. Yeah, I definitely think this level has gotten harder. I think it's, like, amplified and gotten more difficult. Let's go back to town real fast. I wanted to see what we were capable of making. We can make a chestnut plank right there. Pretty sure we're going to need, like, one or two more of them. We got four on this run, so that's good. We're also going to need some more ore, so there we go. Hopefully, we get lucky with the ore drops. We can't do anything with the shield right there. I don't know what these do over here, too. I'd like it if they got little special abilities where they, like, blow up the screen and do all kinds of epic, like, anime stuff. I know that normally, like, I'm not a big fan of anime, but it'd be cool if they got special abilities where they're like, ah, and the background does, like, that blurry, like, that that blurry zippy slashy thing and then they like fire off a big death laser like a Kamehameha. I don't know man Like the game is so simple that like I want stuff like that to happen just so that I can marvel at the pixel prowess uh, You come over here and we'll make some copper ingots Hopefully that's enough for the sword because we got to get our main quest done. Is it? Oh, we already have the stuff for the sword. Oh Well, then make the sword guy Make the shvert all right, that's done. We'll complete that and get our money. So we got 120 bucks right there. We got a quest called Mood, but it's a big mood. It increases the maximum number of characters in a party. Oh, really? Fighter is spoiled, so improve a character's mood at the spa. Oh, we can do that. Okay. That's easy. You just, like, take them down here, and then you'd be like, bow, relax. Did I queue up that action? Like, is he going to come back out and do that in just a second? Or is that one of those things that, like, it's not important to him right now? Oh, yeah. Apparently, it queues up the action. That's nice. All right. Mood improved. There you go. And so now we can have a second adventure on these little quests. A two-person job. Send two guys into the magical forest. Oh, it gives you a boss fight when you get there. Okay, yeah, you guys should go on in. I mean, I'm a little bit worried about him. Oh, really? That attack hits both of us. That's a bummer. But they are way more efficient when they fight together, so that's good. Who knew that the power of friendship would allow you to complete adventures at a much more rapid rate? I kind of feel like he should be in the back line, though. And the fighter should be in the front. But I didn't realize that the order you put them in on the stables would be their order in combat, so... Lessons learned, everybody. Lessons learned. On the plus side, he's actually completed an adventure for once without ending up bloody beaten and bruised. So that's a good sign. I'll take it. Uh, you come back over here, and I want you to have, like, 
extra stuff. There we go. Get like the planks done, and then we'll make some of the wolf leather as well. Hopefully that'll be enough for us to get him some new equipment, because I got a feeling this boss fight is probably going to be a little bit hard on both of them. We can make some scout's pants. I think we should do that. We also need to make a little bit of money so that we can... Yeah, we need to make a little bit of money so that we can upgrade him too. So you put on some pants. I think that's a good idea. That's raised his HP up to something. What is your maximum HP now? Apparently his agility is much higher as well. So where are you at healing wise? Let's like swap you two like so. And then I think that'll allow me to send you guys out on a dual adventure a little bit faster. One shot at him. Nice. Sounds good. We gotta get some new monsters up inside of here too, man. Some of these monsters, we these are old hat faces now. We gotta see some like better, more high quality monsters. We got no loot off of that guy? Bummer, man. Bummerowski. I think I'm also supposed to be like crafting gear and selling it because it seems like it sells for a decent amount of cash. And so maybe I should stop stockpiling. That's a little unfortunate. That's more damage than I wanted to take, but these things happen from time to time. Alright. Well, we're almost to the boss, so close that off. We have enough money right now to where I think he can be... Oh, no, I need 220. I need 220. Okay. So at the market, we can sell off our militia sword. I think that's a good idea. And our militia helmet. That way, I can train him and get him a little bit higher level. And the goal there is so that we could equip him with the upgraded crossbow. Perfect. And then while we're waiting for him to heal, what stuff can you make? So I don't have enough money for a chestnut plank right now, but we can make him a scout's hat, which will increase his, oh, increases by 18% the chance of a high quality item. Oh, really, crafting, no! Uh, crafting depends on the agility level of the character. That's also really good to know. So there's your little stupid hat, I guess. It's a dumbass looking hat. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Like, as far as fashion sense goes, that hat right there is not a good play, but you know what? Sometimes you don't get to wear the things that you want when you go into battle. I'll tell you what you want, what you really, really want. I want a hat, I want a hat, I want a hat, I want a hat that doesn't make me look like a moron. Uh, Chigga, you know, digga, wizzy, ah, whatever it is they say in that song. I don't know. Healing leaves and a chestnut log. Very nice. That was a... Yeah, just go again. I see no reason for you guys to just, like, hang out at base. You might as well just keep going. I like that the new crossbow has a new graphic on his back, though. It's like a bigger, more badass ass kicker. Perfect. Yeah, there you go. Stand in the poison for a little while longer, because that's what smart adventurers do. Stand inside the clearly labeled poison that is now eating through your boots. Oh, 118. Damn. That was a hit right there. That was this. I don't think I've ever seen anybody hit that hard. That was the jam. All right, well, apparently we have the boss ready to go. We got a hundred and something coins from right there. And then we've got the real challenge. Kill two elite mystical ants, and that's going to give us the fashion house, I guess. Can I upgrade any of this stuff? How hard is that going to be? We need a pine plank. I don't think I have access to a pine plank yet. That's going to require a pine log. It's probably in the next level. I bet you. Yeah, you guys, like, rest up and do your thing. I don't know if it's worth it to do that, but I'm going to do it anyways. So apparently, I guess we can't fight the boss right now? I thought that when we filled up the meter, we would fight the boss. But I'm thinking maybe I grinded this mission a little bit harder than expected. And so, like, we're further along than we're supposed to be. Oh, there's an elite enemy right there. Is that him? Ow, that fool hurt. I was going to say, you guys better get him. I think there's a good chance we're going to have to retreat. Like, I'm kind of hanging out right now, like, risking it for the biscuit. But... Aw, oh, lame. 
So is there anything stopping me from putting like a whole bunch of like heavy gear? Like what's stopping me from putting plate mail on an archer? I wonder if the archer gear... Well, it doesn't look like they die or anything, so that's good. Does it affect their mood if they get knocked the hell out? It doesn't even really affect their mood. Like, it affects it a little bit, but not really. Uh, we gotta wait for... I'm not gonna wait for that. This takes too long. Heal everybody. We've got money. Money fixes all problems. Let's go kill some elite ants out here. you guys would stop dodging me, that'd be super fantastic and I would appreciate it. Thank you. It'd be nice if they gave you a fast forward on this though, so that you could like click it and it'd do like double speed or maybe like one point or like point, you know, two five faster or something. There you go. So we got that quest done at the very least. We've killed off two elite ents now. The downside is the elites don't really seem to drop that much better loot than all the other ones. I was hoping we'd get maybe like some loot from like the next dungeon or something like that like some basic stuff like the pine logs or whatever but it's okay all right so we killed off the two elite ants that's given us the fashion house thing over here do we really even need that i mean we can make it right now so apparently i can dress up my characters we've built that and that allows us to get the laboratory one that's going to take some planks unfortunately we have a competition available a dance party in the barn What's a dance party do? Honor guests. So give two light spears to the visitors from the distant village. Okay. What does the dance party do? Send our characters to the competition. How do I do that? Let's see. Fashion competitions. Oh. I mean, that's about the best that we have right now. Let the contest begin. Stretch your stuff, bro. Stretch your stuff out here. Let them know on the dance floor. Three, seven, and five. What? These judges are tripping. They must be sniffing glue. This one with the pig over here is a hater. So I think it's like there's like a wizard, a warrior maybe. Oh, the king's trying to peek in through the window right there. Well, I mean, at least they're making just as many fashion foibles as I am. Your farmers caught a burglar who was robbing their houses at night. Seeking revenge, they brought him to you. The accused man begs for forgiveness and declares that this was all a big misunderstanding. He had nothing to do with any of it. Indeed, the evidence and proof supplied by the farmers raised more questions than answers. Do you want to banish the accused? Nah, that's good. Rescued from a miserable fate, the grateful wretch hands you a bag of gold. From the look of your characters, you can see that not everybody is happy with the show of mercy. Hey, man, I believe in mercy. Lamborghini mercy. Your gold, it seems so thirsty. I think we lost, guys. Pretty sure we lost the fashion contest. We got number three. So apparently we got some free gold and some reputation right there. No competitions available. Can't really do much else on that side. For field medicine, we got to do five potions of minor healing. But we haven't even built that yet. So, let's send them back out on another grip of adventures real fast. There you go. Just one-shot him and get his ass up out of the way. This does not concern us for right now. While we wait, there is some other stuff we can accomplish. We have 20 logs? Oh, well, maybe we should make more planks than I know what to do with for right now. And then over here, we'll make, like, a ton of copper ingots, too. And hopefully that'll be enough to get us into bed with some of these spears right here so that we can finish off the other craft as well. I think that should give us enough planks to... Well, no, actually, we're going to need to do at least one more adventure before we're ready to go on that. So craft a spear and then craft another one, and then we'll turn that into the people that have come through. If these end up being, like, higher-level spears, that's okay. We can swap them. That one has 11 strength on it. Did we make a high quality spear on accident? It looks like every single one is, oh wow, he made like a really good spear on his first try. Never mind then. We'll send these spears on over and we'll get our 16 hides, I guess. And then from down here, what we can do is we can make a whole bunch of leather. 
This is gonna take like 16 seconds, but that's okay. He's better at crafting stuff anyways. I'm gonna try and make some gear, and then I'm gonna see what it sells for over here on the market. Oh, we do have enough for that, good. So inside the lab, we can send him over to here, and if we wanted to make, we've got rotten slices. A potion of minor healing just takes like coca leaves. So I guess just like bang that out real fast. This dude over here is done with what he's done, so let's make just a couple of leather jackets. We'll see if we get anything better than what we already have. If we do get something higher quality, we'll equip it. And if they're all of lower quality, then we'll just put them up on the market and make a bunch of money so that we can level up our characters. I'm thinking it probably wouldn't kill our scout to have a few more levels on him. Alright, so let's go back to the guild and we'll take a look at some of these jackets. That'll give him more defense but less attack. That's the exact same jacket he's already got except with 16 defense. Let's put that on right there. We'll go back to the market and... Oh, wow. Yeah, you can make a bunch of money that way. We're actually, like, stacking it up right now. Still waiting on him to make a couple more... Yeah, you level up. And you level up. So, we've got five potions of minor healing right there. That's giving us a bunch more healing leaves that we can throw together. We've got a new friend on this side. I was jumping across the roost practicing. We got 10 healing leaves. So that gives us headless. If the character doesn't have a helmet, the chance to evade is increased by 10%. Okay. Then we also have Mother sends her regards. Looking forward to your first victory over a dragon. Bring a scout's hat, scout's jacket, a scout pants, and a simple crossbow. Okay. And then we got to equip a potion of minor healing. Where does that go? Does it go in that little item slot right there? Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, that's probably helpful. That'll probably be a good assist. All right, I need you guys to, like, get back to the adventuring business that's in front of us right now. But now that you've got healing potions, this should pretty much flow as expected very, very easily. Go ahead and bang that up. Man, I tell you what, allergy season is here, dude. My allergies have been going nuts the last day or two while I've been recording. I've had, like, a sore throat nonstop. Like, this is killing me. I hate allergies so much, man. It makes no sense. I do take allergy pills, but over the years, they seem to work a lot less than they used to. A lone traveler has visited your village and made an offer. He found something he believes may interest you, but he doesn't know its true value. He's willing to sell it for 100 gold, but doesn't want to show until he's been paid. Who would have thought the traveler takes his leave whistling a song? You hold in your hand something that could have easily gotten for free. Eh, I mean, we have extra money. I just wanted to gamble on it and see what we get. Ow. Yeah, that was painful. Man, he's like staying on me. But at least we know that the health potions work now, but it does take up their entire turn. I do like that the health potion is fully animated. Like, they sit there and they actually, like, drink a potion with all the little frames made and everything. Like I said, like, it's an idle game, but as with all things that Lazy Bear does, they've put a tremendous amount of care and a bunch of art into the work that I think really helps sell the experience and set it apart from its competition. Go ahead and relax right there real fast. We already did that, so we'll get a little bit of money and some copper ore. That's pretty sweet. I like copper ore. Let's bring him over here, see if we can make a few more of these ingots. There's seven ingots right there. Uh, we needed to make a full suit of scout equipment. Useful jewelry. Make a healing medallion. So we have amulet crafting. Okay. How do I make an, a healing medallion? Well, that's pretty easy. Okay. That's not that hard. Put you over here to see if we can get, like, a higher quality one. This is probably done by, like, intelligence, though, right? Oh, it depends on the stamina. So maybe having a warrior do this would be a better idea. Let's try. Put that over there. Put that over there. And if I have the warrior do it, his chances don't appear to be that much better. So I guess his stamina isn't that much better than the other characters. Make a couple chestnut planks over here while we wait. You done with that healing amulet over there? Oh wow, the healing amulet takes a minute to get done. Alright, make me some more leather though. There's our healing medallion. That's a little bit more cash to play around with. We have another competition available. A dance party in the barn. I have to pay a hundred bucks to do that though. The winged horror. So that's the boss right there. Uh, we can fight him right now if we want to, but I think we should probably make another healing medallion. It probably, if HP drops to zero, your character will run away back to the village without completing her adventure. So it looks like it just gives you a whole bunch more health. 
I'm actually kind of okay with that. Here, finish that off. I was hoping that maybe it would give them like a couple HP regen, like every single time they stop to do an adventure. But it looks like it's just like a flat stamina type deal. Yeah. Alright, that's cool. Uh, put him in the back line. I mean, extra HP is always good. We could fight that monster right there, but I kind of want to finish these other quests. So let me grind these out real fast, and then we'll go do the other stuff. We've got an event that popped up during this quest. Apparently, this guy wants six iron ore. Yeah, go for it. The blacksmith is very pleased with the ore and gratitude. He gives you a weapon that he recently forged. Let's go have a look at it. So what weapon did he give us? Maybe it's a archery weapon, maybe? I don't know. It said he gave us a weapon, but I don't see it anywhere. I don't see a weapon around. I think we just got took for the biscuit, man. I think we just got rooked. I'm pretty sure we just got cheated. Which is unfortunately... Uh, which is very unfortunate because I had enough iron, I think, or enough copper to actually do what I wanted to do for once. So, that's a bummerowski. But I guess we'll just leave it as it is for right now. You come over here and forge up some of that stuff. This guy wanted to have us make him a bunch of crossbows and things like that so that he could be like a novice adventurer. We haven't killed a lot of wolves during my grind time, so I don't know if we're going to have enough leather to actually get this done. But they did give us a bunch of wolf pelts, I think, just as, like, a bonus. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to need a little bit more. I can do the training crossbow right now and some of the other little things, but I think it's going to require a little bit further grind, which is a bummer. Like, I don't really like the fact that it's going to take more grind, but hey, we'll keep our nose to the grindstone real fast and see what happens. Uh, you guys go back out on an adventure real fast. Go do your thing. How much does it cost to get another adventurer? 900? Oof. Expensive. It's expensive to get a new adventurer. Alright, well I guess we'll just watch the adventure unfold then. We killed a wolf on that run, which is good. Like, that's all that I need is wolves. And so I'd like it if maybe the market allowed you to buy some of these items at a premium so that you could move a little faster. But it hasn't happened yet. Like, the wolves are actually pretty rare. So I'm thinking maybe getting that quest done is something we can leave till later. We'll let them finish this run, and then we'll see if we can finish off the boss in this episode. So at least we did something new this time around. Oh, we got an elite over here. That's not good. You gonna drink a healing potion, or are you just gonna attack through? He's gonna attack through. I respect that, even though it's really, really dumb. I respect it, even though it shows a lack of brains. We've got healing leaves coming out of our ears. So if you ever need any healing leaves, you ever need some cocaine, we got you covered. But yeah, let's get these guys healed up, and we'll see if we can do the boss real fast. So you guys heal up real quick. We also, you guys need like a little mood boost right there. All right, let's fight the boss. That's not the boss music from Final Fantasy III. The boss music from Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy III has a... There we go. There we go. I figured it out. That was the boss music from Final Fantasy III. I had to recall it in my head. If you could stop throwing elite attacks at my back line, that'd be great. I'd appreciate it, man. That'd be just utterly fantastic. There you go, extra chestnut log right there. That looks pretty good. The Owl Guard. That's cool. I like how animated that was. Now you get like a little preview music thing going. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. This guy looks kind of badass. Oh, he's got 734 health? You must be kidding me. Ow! Apparently, he's super good at evading me. Ow, dude. Oh, my God. You must be kidding me. I don't know how we're supposed to beat this dude with two characters. 
It feels unlikely is all I'm saying. It feels really, really unlikely. I don't know. We're going to have to figure... Maybe I just got to level up. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we just got to level up a whole bunch more. That's probably it. That's like pretty much the only character advancement we can do right now is leveling up. So maybe I'll craft a bunch of gear and we'll bang it out real quick. I don't have enough logs. That, what is that right there? A mysterious quest. A lone traveler wants to sell an item for 300 gold. Hey, we got a cool militia breastplate. That's pretty sweet. I'm always going to be a gambler. Like, I love gambling on stuff like that. 38 defense, 9 health. Uh, yeah, it's better. I mean, gives us nature resistance, too. Definitely take that. Get these guys healed up, and then we'll get back on the road to Rhode Island out here. All right, my name is Splattercat. This is Swag and Sorcery. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanted to see more, make sure you leave likes on the video. That's how I know that people are engaged and they want to see a little bit more content. Hi, do, and take care, everybody. It's been really, really fun. You can get this game down below in the description if you really wanted to purchase it for yourself. And that's all I got for you. If you want to sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming, you know where it's at here at the Nerd Castle. Hi, do.